Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. In the previous session, we learned about the feature called Priority, which is offering by WorkUse. Please watch part 35, WorkUse Priority in Queue Management, as prerequisite before watching this video. In this session, we will learn about the features called Tag, Tag Filters, and Key Filter, which is offering by WorkUse. Tag is a keyword which is assigned to a work queue item as a method of categorizing or grouping. Tag can be used when getting items using get next item from the work queue. We can filter the items to retrieve by the presence or absence of the specific tag by giving the appropriate arguments to the tag filter input parameter of the get next item action. As a tag filter, we can give two symbols that is plus sign or minus sign to filter the items. Tag search support two wild cards. One is asterisk, another one is question mark. An asterisk character can be used to search for any other characters in the tags. And the question mark character can be used to search for any single character in the items. You can also use a combination of tags in the tag filter parameter separating by the semicolon. Now let me show you practically. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Now we are in the control tab. Under control tab we are in the queue management. We have created student mask queues in the previous session. If you see over here we are having a lot of options in the below tab. Over there you can find it out item keys, priority and status on the tags. In this session that we are going to talk about these tags and the item keys. Now let me open Process Studio. We are in the student process process right now. So that first of all, let me run the process once. Let me go ahead, let me run the process in the debug mode, debug speed as fast, and let me run it. The process is completed successfully without any errors. Now let me switch to control room and let me refresh it once again. Now if you see over here, we are having item keys and the tags. These are the tags which we are going to be filtering as part of this session. As I said, tags are used to assign to a work queue item as a method of categorizing or grouping. Based on this tags that you are going to grouping out or categorizing in our session. Now let me go back to process and we'll see how we are going to add these tags. Now I'm going to process studio and we are in the you know pro student process process. Now if you see these are the tags that we are going to add at the time add to queues. Now let me double click on the add to queues. Now we are in the action properties. Now if you see over here there's the property we are having called tags. Now what I'm going to do in this session that I am going to give the tags at the names of the particular students. Okay, now how can we go ahead? We, we are having single row over here, right? Why we are going to do using single queues? Please watch part 35. You will get an idea of good idea about that. Why we are using single row add to queue. From there itself that what I'm going to do, I'm going to add as a adding tags as a name. Let me drag and drop onto the action properties. This is the single row add to queue dot name. This is the names that we are going to be giving as a tags in the work queues. Okay, now I'm going to click on OK. In the same way, I'm going to do for the next four actions. I have dragged single row add to queue dot name onto the tags and I'm going to click on OK. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it and I'm going to say it as tag over there and I'm going to save the changes. Now let me go ahead, let me run the process. The process is executed successfully. Now let me go to control room once again. Let me refresh the queue. 
now if you see over here the tag what are the names that I have given over there from here you can see the names that whatever I have mentioned the names has come into picture Swati Alex I mean these are all the things has been tagged over here the name has tagged over here in the tag section now we have seen how the tags are working now I want to work on the tag filters what is the tag filter that I said we are going to be filtering in get next item so that what I want to do I want to process the queues only particular based on the tag filters now what I have to do over here I am going to give an example if you see over here I want to process only the name with the sweetie okay the only the queue has to process feedy and the remaining all the things has to be exclu excluded now how I can go ahead and do that let me go to process once again okay now if you go to get next item action over here click on that you can see the tag filter over here okay if you're going to give the tag filter over here what does that mean you have to give the over here the data type is text and you have to give the name over there which you want to I'm just giving the sweetie only I have to process it and the remaining queues are not to processing this is my context over here as I said tag filters are used to filter the records or filter the queues so that the particular queues only will process and the remaining queues will not process over here so if you're not going to give anything over here as I said any signs like plus or minus this is by default this is the plus sign that you are going to do that now let me go ahead and let me click on OK I'm all the in the queue content that I'm going to clear all the queues now the queue is empty now let me go back to my process let me reset it let me run once again Now the process has succeeded successfully. Now let me go back to my control room. Let me refresh it. If you see, all the 10 items has been added, but if you see only the item particular number four only it has been processed and the remaining all are skipped out over here. Okay, this is the way that how we are going to use the tag filters. Now I will show you with the sign minus. Okay, now what I want to do, except James and Alex I don't want to process these two records and the remaining all has to process over there so that what I'm going to James and Alex now let me go back to my get next item and I'm going to use the sign minus James and if you are going to use multiple items over there multiple tags over there so that what we are going to do we are using semicolon minus Alex and then I'm going to click on OK. OK, now let me reset it. Let me process once again. The process executed successfully. Let me go to my control room once again and let me refresh the queue. And if you see over here, what I said, Alex and James won't want to process. And the remaining all the things will process. Over here, if you see over here, this is 7 and 8. These are the James and Alex are not processed in the queues. And the remaining all other things have been processed successfully. Okay, these are the two signs which we are using as a part of tag filters. Now we are going to discuss about the wild cards asterisk and the question mark that we are going to use as part of wildcards as we know that asterisk is going to use any other characters and also uh, if you're going to use question mark then only single character that you are going to identify it now let me go ahead let me show you that now get get next item what i'm going to do in the names that we are having w starts with williams okay if there is any starts with w and if there any other character go ahead and proceed further and the remaining uh, queues has to skip it out okay now i'm what i'm going to do i'm going to use w and asterisk that i'm going to use it and i'm going to click on okay now let me reset it let me go ahead let me run that
the process is executed successfully and very fastly because we have very less of data over there. Let me go to control room. Let me refresh it. You will see over here. If you see over here, the item nine with the tag name starts with W and on the remaining characters, whatever we are having, that it is going to be processed the queues and the remaining all the things has been skipped out. In the same way, if there is Alex that, uh, you know, I'm just giving an example, Alex is there. So if I'm, how I'm going to do only single character using question mark. Now let me go ahead. Let me make the changes. Get next item over there. If you see over here, what I'm going to do, giving Alex. So at the end of the character, what I'm going to, I'm just giving the question mark over there and I'm going to say, okay, what are the characters with it? It starts with A, L, E and after that, if it is only one character it is having, then go ahead and process it. I'm going to click on okay. Now let me reset it. Let me process once again. Now the process has been uh, processed complete uh, successfully. Now let me go to control room once again. Let me refresh the queue. If you see over here, I can find it out because this is the previous queue that what we are having. But if you can see, what are the name that we ALE and the finally we are having only one character, Alex, so that it has been processed successfully. Okay. This is all about the tag and the tag filters. Now, if you want to process the records based on the item queues, then how we are going to do that. So I want to process the record with the item key as nine, then only I want to process the records and the remaining all the things I have to skip it out. Let me clear all the records first for your better understanding. I have cleared the records. Now what I'm going to do in the process studio and in the get next item, you can see the key filter over here. This is also the data type is text is no, this is the data type is text. Now for the time being, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this tag filter and I'm going to give the text as nine over there. Okay, in the sense, what are the item key? It is over there with the nine, they have to process it or the remaining, all the things has to be skipped out. Okay, now let me go ahead and let me click on okay. Let me reset it. Let me run the process once again. Now, if you see the process is completed successfully, let me go to the control room once again. Let me refresh it. Now, if you see the item key with the nine has been succeeded successfully and the remaining all the things have been skipped out and it's not processed. Now, let me show you once again with the item key 10. Okay, let me go to process studio and let me change that to 10. The key filter, I'm, I have changed it to 10 and then I'm clicking on okay. And let me process once again. Now, if you see the process has been completed successfully, let me go to control room and let me refresh it. If you see, this is the previous uh, queue item 10. Now this is the latest item key as 10. This has been processed successfully. This item keys with the values of 10 has been processed successfully. I hope you understand about the tag, tag filters and item or the key filters in this session. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section.